Our next speaker uh, will talk about fear and, uh, more important, how to overcome the fear. Please welcome on the stage Mr. Hamdi Shaban with the topic <laughs> The Science Behind the Fear. Today, I will let you understand how do you feel about one of the most important basic emotion you have, which is fear. Fear is an emotion which every one of you experience in a daily life. Fear of exam, fear of uh, next uh, partner, fear to, to do something. It's always constant in your mind, in your heart, and simply we exaggerate this emotion. It's fear has to do its, its meaning, fear uh, of false evidence, that it's appear real. So it's not real. We exaggerate this emotion, and simply what happens, we freeze our mind. We cannot think uh, or uh, have out of the box uh, creative mind thinking. So fear consumes our energy and let us uh, drain, drain our energy from uh, uh, finding another solution. We always worry, and constant worry and constant fear is actually draining us. Our modern society now is putting us in a level where you run from a meeting to a meeting, from exam to exam, from lecture to lecture. All this constant stress has a, a, a negative impact in your health. It's uh, weakening your immune system, weakening your body. And then what happened? What is the result? Chronic disease, cardiovascular disease, uh, uh, immune uh, uh, disease, and other uh, mental disorder. Anxiety is a problem. So how to control this? First, before to know how to control it and to show you how to defeat the emotion of fear, I will show you uh, what we share with other animal kingdoms. So fear is important. It's actually very uh, important for our surviving. Without fear, we would risk a lot of uh, uh, doing, a lot of risky uh, uh, behavior that it will eliminate us from living. And we share with animal, all animal kingdoms the same mechanism, exactly the same mechanism it's a primitive uh, brain structure called the reptilian brain, very deep in your brain, which control all this fear emotion. And it works in animal exactly the same as in human. So normally, the animal uh, in a lab, we test the animal, we expose the animal to a specific sound, and then we give them also electrical shock. And then the animal, when represented with the sound, it's freezing. It causes this freezing behavior. You, st you stop thinking, you hold your breath, and you, you don't know what to do. For example, also human. You are sitting here in a very nice hall, and suddenly I tell you, wake up! <laughs> so what happened now is simply you startle. This is called startle response. What is this startle response? Your heart rate increase, your blood pressure increase, and you, you feel fear, you don't know what to do, you freeze, but then you recognize, no, it's not dangerous. You start to laugh. And what is this? This is a feedback mechanism. You start to distress yourself. You start to release some happiness hormone like dopamine and serotonin and a lot of other hormones that it calm you down and tell you, no, no, it's not dangerous. It's not risky. And exactly the same with animal. So when it, suppress, when it represents the same sound, loud sound to the animal, the animal exactly does the same like you. It's very primitive emotion. It's very important for your survival. And then it's freeze. And by testing this in animal, we can understand how the whole circuit in the brain control our emotion. And by understanding this, we could understand how to overcome this feeling. So for example, in real life, you look at a, a snake, you walk in a, in a nice park, and you see a snake or a, a piece of wood. And then if he, the first instantaneous a behavior, you freeze because it goes back to your brain and slow down your slow thinking. What does it mean? So your first reaction is the fast thinking, either fight or flight response. You activate your sympathetic nervous system. What does it do, sympathetic nervous system? It frees your uh, slow thinking, your rational thinking. It increases your blood pressure, increases your heart rate, and then you are either fight or flight response. So you are ready to fight. However, there is 
a, a counter uh, system where you can uh, antagonize this system. It's a parasympathetic system where you uh, activate it and you go in the rest and digest mode. Rest and digest mode is simply when you after have a heavy meal and you're sitting relaxed and you start to listen to the chill out music, then this is the uh, rest and digest mode. So we have this two power between sympathetic and parasympathetic, which we use it regularly in every day. However, the problem is that we always concert in the sympathetic mode, in the fight or flight response. You go to meet your boss, fight or flight. You go to the exam, fight or flight. But there is no chance to have this parasympathetic system activated. And today, I will show you the trick how to overcome this constant anxiety and constant worry by activating your own uh, uh, feedback, negative feedback mechanism, or your own system to distress you or relax you down. So normally, you have balance between fear, which inhibit you, prevent you from doing something, and you have reward system. It's exactly similar circuit within the brain, deep brain, limbic system, and control both ways. And these two forces either push you to do something euphoric, let's do it, or no, 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 I feel fear. I'm not, I worry about that. I don't know how it will happen. So you can overcome fear, for example, with alcohol. So don't be surprised that after drinking too much alcohol, you stand naked on the table because actually you lose all your fear and you completely disinhibit it. And that's why you call it a social inhibition. If you drink a little bit of wine, you can socialize, you can speak. But if you exaggerate, you lose this inhibition, you lose your fear, and you do other things which normally you don't like to do. On the other side of the world, we have the reward system, which also can be activated by drugs, cannabis, smoking, go through the reward system. It also activates the reward system and can give you distress you and uh, listen down your fear response. However, the danger is addiction. You get addicted to these drugs. Especially uh, an example, we all try roller coaster, where you go and you have this uh, adrenaline uh, uh, pulse, where you go to a risky uh, uh, condition, your adrenaline stress hormone level is going up, you feel fear, and then after this, you release a lot of dopamine, the other happiness hormone. And that's why you get addicted to this uh, roller coaster or this risky behavior. So how, from understanding of this, how to defeat your fear, how to switch without uh, abusing or using the reward system? So simply, first things, try to recognize your fear. Why you, you feel fear? What's exactly? Because normally your mind is automatically exaggerating the, the source of the fear. So try to shape it in a, in a right position. Try to recognize it and make it rational thinking. Because we know that phrase block, uh, uh, fear block rational thinking. So you need to use rational thinking and look what's exactly this source of fear. Then focus on the low risk and high reward. Activate your own reward system to reduce your fear from doing something. Also look to the situation from outside. If you lost in a jungle and you don't know the way out, you get panic, you freeze, and then you cannot find the way. But if you hold the breath and relax and start to look from outside, you will, if you have a helicopter view, you will be able to find your way out of the jungle. So there is a couple of tricks you can do. Simply relax your mind. Relax your mind and think about what you are fearing of. Fearing of criticism? Okay, let it be. Maybe criticism is good for you. Take the reward. It's positive. It's trying to make you better and better. Feeling of uh, apathy. So also try to find the, the right social contact to react with you, to compensate. Feeling of fa a failure. Give yourself a chance to, to, feel, uh, to make an error. It's important to learn from our mistakes. You will never get experience without mistakes. Feeling of being ridiculous? Let's try it. Be ridiculous. Do like that. <laughs> Feel funny. Enjoy your life. What is the point? And by the way, most of your peers will appreciate your sense of humor. How to defeat fear? 
you can simply stretch. Research shows that stretching, just simply stretching your muscles, is actually sending a signal to a main nerve called vagus nerve, which control your parasympathetic system. Yawning, it's very good. If you yawn, like the lady in the middle, this is also activating your, your parasympathetic system because you open your mouth, you, uh, the even gargling, it's activating your vagus nervous, uh, your vagus nerve because both of these go to the brain and then switch you from the fight or flight response into the relaxing mode, the calm down mode, the, pa the rest and digest. You can take take a, a deep, slow breath. This is also meditation in yoga. Most of the practice has to do with very slow breathing. Very slow breathing is also has to do with activating the same nerve, the main nerve feeding your heart, your uh, stomach, your digestive system. So this vagus nerve will slow down everything and send the signal to the brain and say, oh, it's OK, relax. We don't have to worry about it. What else? Dance. Dancing will combine stretching and also enjoying life because it can release in your brain a neurotransmitter that it's uh, released during joy and things which you like to do. Happiness, serotonin, dopamine. So let's dance. Even a uh, just simple, if, you, uh, 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 if you're sitting in your office tired and uh, just giving a small pressure to your eyeball, this is a cardio uh, Oculocultural reflex, which is known to reduce your heart rate 10%. So it will reduce your blood pressure, it will activate again your vagus nerve, and then it will put you back to the parasympathetic mode or rest and digest system. What else? Nutrition. Nutrition is very important. A group in, in uh, UCC, University College Cork, Professor John Klein, found a specific bacteria species. Uh, Lactobacillus raminosis, which you grow in, uh, in milk, in, in yogurt, fermented milk, which is available here in Kazakhstan. So drink more of this because you will get more of this healthy bacteria, which release a good neurotransmitter for inhibition, for relaxing, called GABA. Plus, you will have more of essential amino acid good for your brain and also uh, a high of the uh, uh, source of this healthy bacteria. Finally, there is also more ways you can use to stimulate your vagus nerve. One important thing is simply have a smile, have a, 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 co a cold shower. Cold shower known to stimulate again the same n uh, vagus nerve. Chewing gum, if you in, within the work, stressed, you have to uh, give a result in a short time. You don't know what to do. Quick solution, just chewing gum. Chewing gum by itself. The movement of your mouth will stimulate again your vagus nerve and put you down, stress you down, calm you down. Singing and chanting, especially throat singing, is again activating the same nerve and besides the chill out music will calm down the nerve tone in your brain and then put you again in the parasympathetic nervous system tone. Have a good smile. Smiling, even if you fake it, try to fake it like this, it sends back feedback to your brain and tell you I am happy, even if you are not. And actually, your neurotransmitter in the brain will send back and make you really happy. Have a massage. Massage for feet or uh, uh, head massage, both are sending the same or stimulating the same nervous system, vagus nerve, that it triggers a response in the brain that you are now relaxed, you are in rest and digest mode. Have a good social uh, 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 counterpart or uh, social interaction because this will, uh, the mirror in each of one of you, you have a mirror neuron, which if you see somebody laughing, you will automatically laugh. Even if you are not, you don't understand the joke, you will also laugh simply because you see somebody is laughing. So try to laugh. And finally, important for you, if you distress yourself, and you go outside of this panic and constant anxiety, you will have a clear mind to think out of the box, and you will succeed in your success in all level of your life. Thank you very much.